And we back with some more information. I'm Vice Lombardi. Um, thanks everybody for joining here with me today. We're going to talk about uh, coverages. Um, a few different basic coverages. I'm not going to get into any um, any technical stuff. Just a few basic looks and um, how offenses attack them, and you know all that kind of little information like that. So um, let's jump right into it. Uh, shouts out to my man Alex Rosenzweig. I hope I'm saying his name right. Um, you know, he was like, uh, he was like, yo, coach, what you mean, like, when you say two high, one high, cover zero, cover three? Like, what you what you mean by that? You know, could you make a video explaining that? I say, sure. I'm going to explain this video because uh, I'm explaining those coverages in this video because it'll be especially helpful during quarterback week, which is next week. It's kind of like shark week, but with quarterbacks or whatnot. Um, It'll be uh, next uh, next week starting uh, Monday. So look out for that. Look out for those videos. Five quarterbacks, five days of the week. Um, look out for it. First one, <clears throat> cover zero, which is uh, the man coverage. Um, the man coverage, I guess, coverage or whatever, right? We're using um, corners. We're using our safeties. And what we're going to do is we, we use this coverage to get creative with our linebackers to bring pressures and 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 you know just use them in other creative ways so let me go ahead and explain that to you right now cover zero first things first man to man uh our corners are gonna uh be on the inside alignment of the wide receiver shoulders why because if you go back and, and look at the uh how do you tell if it's man or zone video i explain why that's because we, they use the sideline as an extra defender Right. So if, if this receiver is running a route or something, you want this cornerback on the inside alignment to to kind of bump him outside a little bit to get an overthrow to the sideline. Or, you know, maybe don't maybe the receiver doesn't get both feet in or two feet or just feet in bounds in general. Right. So they're going to play the inside technique to um, cover these wide receivers here. And they're basically going to be man coverage here man coverage here. <clears throat> Since it's cover zero. Zero meaning no high help, no safeties in the back playing behind you, right? Everybody's man on man. We're probably trying to bring some pressure or something, right? So we're going to have the safety, the strong, okay? Covering this guy. And I'm using the uh, spread offense look just to give you guys, you know, just to, just to open it up to give you a better idea of what it's going to look like when it all comes together, right? You don't want everything clunked up. <clears throat> just to uh, keep things basic. You're gonna, your free is going to cheat over and man up right there. Your free is normally back here somewhere. Why did he cheat over? Because he's man covering this guy here. You don't want to be out of position. I'm going to say that a bunch. You don't want to be out of position. What do I mean? If the free safety is up here, what if this uh, receiver runs to the flats over here? What if he runs just a little... That's a little bubble screen or whatever. This safety is out of position because he's way up here. He wants to at least be over him. See what I'm saying? Now, in cover zero, what happens with these linebackers here? You got a quarterback and a running back left over, and you got these linebackers here. You get to be creative, okay? You can do anything with these three um, linebackers you want to. You can either bring all three of them, okay, and not cover the running back. You can put uh, the Sam to man cover the running back. Blitz these two guys if you want. The Sam can cover the running back, or we can put the Mike on a quarterback spy technique. Blitz this guy. It all depends on on the um on the actual play. You know on what you you know what what can happen. We can double cover. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like we can like the Will can double cover this guy. The Sam can cover the running back, and we can QB spy. Um, with the mic, or we can blitz the mic. Whatever you want to do, that's 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 why it's cover zero. It's just these guys can do what they want. There's no help up the top, and it's meant to um, bring a little bit of pressure. Um, the linebackers typically change up, um, you know, you know, per play or whatever. Uh, how do offenses beat cover zero? Um, just pretty much with man routes, man man beating routes and mismatches, right? So uh, Cowboys, you know. If you're a Dallas Cowboys, if this is Cole Beasley or something like that, this is your number one man beating wide receiver. You know, he can run something short. He can run a slant, uh, a slant over the middle. He can run uh, the uh, the zag or the disco um, to the sideline. He can he can run a cross up there or something like that, right? He only has to beat this safety. 
Um, also, when you get a cover zero look, no safety help, you get to run your go or your nine or your fly. You see what I'm saying? You get your one-on-one -on -one coverage. Uh, you get to throw all of, all of those type of routes, right? So, the good thing about coverage is once it's, uh, is once you know what it looks like one time, it's always going to look like that. Let's talk about cover one. One, high. That means this free safety is going to be the one man playing deep, okay? What's going to happen after that? Just like just like earlier with the cover zero, the cornerback is going to be playing inside technique. Man coverage right there, okay? Um, the your uh, your Mike and your Sam are going to be the whatever you want to do with guys. Just say the the swing guys, just to because their assignments change or whatever. So they're, these are going to be your swing guys, or whatever. Your uh, safety, gonna be watching him. What changes now is that. You sacrifice one of your swing guys for one deep coverage, for one deep man of coverage. So instead of the free safety man on man with this guy, we got the free playing back because now it's cover one. You got two guys playing swing, and now it's this Will's job, okay, to cover that guy. Now, notice that my Will and my strong line and my and my strong side linebacker are playing outside techniques on their receivers. Why? Because they want to funnel into the one high look. They want to funnel into the safety. So my man Alex, when I say one high, cover one, one high. It means I have one safety high. Okay? That means I get to do stuff, like, like I said earlier, I get to play mismatches with my Cole Beasley here. I get to run deep routes with my Bryce Butlers and Dez Bryant. I'm a Cowboys fan, if you didn't notice. Um, when we're talking about looking off the safeties, this is what typically happens. You got your two outside guys running your running your go or your nine routes or your, your deep routes, your fade routes. What you do is your quarterback is gonna is uh, your 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 safety. He's the only help back here, so he's the only defense for big plays, right? So if you're a quarterback, you may be looking on this side of the field, right? And it'll make this safety cheat over a little bit, maybe. But you can always throw that ball backside. You see what I'm saying? You may look the safety away to get him to skate a little bit this way just to give you room to throw the fade back that way. That's a good way how offense is um, exposed to cover one. And like I said, you can always use your typical man beaters with this, your mismatches on that. You got a will linebacker covering your slot guy here. So, um, you know, you can you you can do a lot of stuff with this. That's that's why you typically want your will linebackers to be athletes like this. Because um your will linebackers are gonna be the guys that cover um that cover these, you know, slot receivers and cover one situations, right? So and then with these guys, you know, like I said, the assignment can change up. You know, they're your uh swing guys. He can blitz, he can man cover. Um you you know, you can Cover running back there, you can, you know, like I said, quarterback spot. It all depends. Both of y'all, both y'all can blitz if you want to, and we just not cover this guy. You see, there's levels to this. So, um, with that being said, <clears throat> let's go to cover two. Now, when we're talking about cover two, I'm only gonna do cover two zone here, cause cover two man is is simple. If you just use your, you know, use your head, you know, we're gonna cover two man too high. Uh, these two guys are going to be high, cover here, cover here, and both your LBs, your Sam and your uh, Will are going to be covering those guys. So that's I feel like that's easy and self-explanatory. So let's go ahead and jump into these zone looks. <clears throat> let's go ahead and go into these zone looks, cover two zone. Um, let me get this side of here, get that out of here, move that there. All right, cool. Cover two zone. Let me tell you something. Cover two zone is going to be the same rules every single time, right? It's just what cover two is going to look like. You're going to have a corner that's going to play the flats. These are the flats, by the way. That's the flats. You're going to have a corner that's going to play the flats. It's cover two. Too high, right? My man Alex. Cover two. Too high. That means you got two guys 
that are giving you deep assistance. That is going to be this strong here. It's going to play over the top of the defense. And this free is going to play high on top of the defense. Um, your linebackers here. Am I giving you a little? Okay, cool. I don't want too much spilling through the bottom of the paper there. Um, your linebackers here. Uh, I ain't saying. Your linebackers become important in your zone schemes, right? And this really depends on placement, right? So the safety is going to go, uh, I mean, not safety, the Sam is going to go right hash to hook. What does that mean? Say, um, say we're on the left hash mark, then he would protect the right hash mark. He would go to protect the right, the right half of it. If we were on the right hash mark, he would just protect the curl. Basically, we're going to do that right there. What's the curl? It's here. Or anything that comes in this general area right there. But basically, the right hash mark. If we're in the middle of the field, it'll, it'll be the right hash mark. This will linebacker, he'll be protecting the left hash mark. Or if we were on the left, the left curl portion of the field. Some people call it a cloud zone. Some people call it that. I, I, I just call it the hash, uh, the hash hook to the curl. Hash hook and curl. Um, the linebackers are always going to patrol his middle. All right. I'm not going to go go over Tampa 2, but if, if I did Tampa 2, the, the linebacker would just be a little bit farther down. It's just it's cover 2 with the linebacker a little bit deeper farther down. But we're not going to go we're not going to get into cover 2 uh in uh, Tampa 2. But this is cover 2, right? It's going to look like this every time. There's always going to be a guy patrol in this area. This guy going to be uh always going to be a guy patrol in this area. What's most important is they're got this corner is going to be on this flat. And these safeties are going to be too high. That's going to be um, important when we're um, when we're exposing coverage, right? So if my if I see my um, if I'm the quarterback and I see that it's cover two too high, right? First of all, I make sure that I know it's a zone. You know what I'm saying? You know, just tell by how my cornerbacks are positioned. If you don't know how to um, decipher man versus zone coverage, there's a video. Um, go find it. How to uh, Identify man versus zone coverage. But if I know a zone coverage, right, and I know that in cover two, these corners are going to play down. Why? A corner can't be way back here because he has to play the flats. So nine times out of ten, the corner is going to be down here. Both these corners are going to be down because they got to play the flats. And these safeties are going to be up. So when you see that look, you know it's cover two. So how do we expose it? We isolate. That's what that's what offenses do right now. I'm, I'm teaching y'all what how you create route combinations. We're gonna isolate. So say we're gonna go. Uh, let's uh, look at the left side of the field here. We're gonna isolate this cornerback. Okay. We have what we call the smash concept. It's a concept of a curl with a corner route on top of it. Right. Well, pardon me, a hitch. A curl would be 10 yards. A hitch would be like two or three. It's going to be a hitch and a corner route on top of it. So let's draw it. This this uh, this receiver here is going to run a short little hitch. And this corner is going to run, pardon me, this receiver is going to run a corner over the top. What's that going to do? We're isolating this corner back here. If he plays down to cover the hitch, we're going to throw the corner over the top of his head. You see? But if he drifts back a little bit to play that corner, then we throw the hitch and we get the easy three or four yards. If you got a Dez Bryant type receiver, if he gets the easy hitch and there's a cornerback playing off of him, he, he can get those easy yak yards. You see what I'm saying? How do we know this is going to be wide open? Because it's his responsibility to play the flats and it's his responsibility to play high. So this entire portion of the field is going to be wide open because it's just cover two zone. That's just We just know that that, that it's going to be that way, right? What else can we do to exploit cover two zone? Um, this deep middle here, all right? It's always going to be like this. This safety is always going to be on this half. Uh, this safety is always going to be on this half. So the deep middle is always going to be there, right? You can use that to expose it. Um, you may see something like um, these comeback routes, right? You may see uh, uh, you may see you may see this receiver get real deep before he comes back, right? He can do that. Why? Because this cornerback has got to play the flats. This running back could flare out. You see what I'm saying? So when this running back flares out to the flats, the cornerback comes comes down to play it. The uh, comes down to play it. The comeback route is wide open right here because the safety has to stay high. 
Why does he have to stay high? Well, because there's threat. <laughs> That's just his responsibility to to take away the deep route. That's why coaches play cover two and cover four to take away the deep routes. Okay, if you want to take away our deep routes, then we're gonna hit you under your safeties on top of your corners. I hope that makes sense to you. All right, moving on. Let's take a look at <clears throat> cover three. That was too high. This is cover three or three high. Now, Vach, coach, we only have two safeties. How are we going to play cover three? You always want your free to get first crack at coverage all the time. All right, so we're going to have him put a little something under this so it won't bleed through. I'm going to do that. You always want your free to have first crack at um at playing deep, all right? So if it's cover three, we want three guys deep. Let me put my hand in the camera there, three guys deep. I want my safety right up there. He's gonna be, it's, it's gonna be three halves. One, two, three, not three halves, but it's gonna be three well, thirds, right? It's gonna be a third. He's gonna play the middle third. This corner here, it's gonna play the, the, uh, the left third. This corner here, Gonna play the right third. That those are that's our three high. One, two, three high. That's our cover three. So what are we gonna do with um with this wheel linebacker here? We're gonna run them to the flats. This safety up here, we're gonna run them to the flats. We want your middle linebacker to play left hash to left curl or left hook and curl, and the Sam to play right hash to right hook and curl, all right? This is how cover three looks. How do we attack it? Well, where's your open space? In between these, um, in between in between your, uh, your thirds right here, but right above this guy, you got room there. You got room between these linebackers. It's not smart, people get hurt there, but it's there. You got room on this side too. You got room with this receiver before this safety gets there or before this uh, this wheel gets there. Um, if it's a long developing play, by the time your corners get back and your safety gets here, it's a little bit of room right there to navigate. Let's take a look at another isolation play. Let's say we want to isolate uh, this linebacker here. So we want to isolate this wheel linebacker here. <clears throat> what we can do, let's take a look at the scout, uh, not scout, the scat combination. You can pretty much do anything in the short game right here that you want to. But let's just take a look at the scat combination. What the scat is, he'll be a little bit over. What the scat combo is, is um, we have a, people call it a spot, people call it slant curl, you know. Well, it's, it's basically, it starts off as a slant and it stops there, all right? A lot of people call it a spot. People call it a look sometimes. We're just going to call it a spot to be safe, all right? We get a slant with a stop here. And we're going to have the inside receiver to run a bubble. All right. What are we looking? What are, what are we looking to isolate here? We know it's not going to be any help from this cornerback. Why? Because he's deep. He's back here. And we know it's not going to be any help from this um, middle guy here because it's his job to cover the hash. What we have is we're isolating him in the sense of if he comes with this spot route, if he if he drifts if he drifts inside if the wheel linebacker drifts inside with this spot route we hit the bubble and he takes it there or if the wheel decides to play the bubble and he drifts outside right we hit the spot and the spot take it right there you see what I'm saying and if he and we want him to get upfield because we don't want him to drift too far into that uh, into this middle zone right. If 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 um if the wheel goes out with the bubble guy, we want the spot to get the ball right around here. Then when he gets it, we want you to haul ass upfield because we don't want you to get hit by this guy. We don't want you to run into that situation. There's a lot of other other ways you can um you can um you know you can deal with cover two. You can always run some good old dig routes, big digs right there. It's a lot of space right there. If this guy is, I should have probably should have drawn it on this side. Let me let me let me draw the dig on this side. I got a lot of stuff going on over here. Mm, boom. 
dig routes or like a big end. It's like an end route, but it's like 10 yards. The big digs right here. This is the perfect spot to put the ball in because by the end of the play, this guy's going to be down here. This corner is going to be up here. This safety is going to be in this, in this range somewhere. So you hit the dig right there. Then you haul ass up field. Another way to get them is with the verticals. You could run four verticals, right? Run your verticals, and by the time you get to the top of this Sam right here, just throw the ball over his head, catch the ball right, right in this zone, right before you get to the deep free. You see what I'm saying? The ball is here, defender here, defender there. So you got all this space to work with. The verticals, the four verticals. He can do it and end up in that spot. And these outside guys are just going to take their responsibilities on field. So it's a lot of ways to um, exploit cover three, but... You know, that was just a few of them. Last one. And like I said, man, it's, it's, they cover five, sixes, cover nines. You know, they're zone blitz type of stuff. Tampa twos, cover two, man. It's a lot of stuff I could do. I just wanted to keep it simple for you guys, all right? Let me get some focus on this camera. Focus. Focus. There we go. All right. Um, Cover four. Da, 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 da. All right, let's get into it. Easy peasy. Why is it easy peasy? Before, let me let me get them some help first. <laughs> let me get all they guys on the field first. Boom, boom, boom. Will my Sam? All right. Why is it easy? First of all, let's find your four. Okay. That's gonna be boom. It's gonna be. Boom, boom, boom. Can you guess what we're trying to stop with cover four? We're trying to stop all things deep. You see how they cut off your fade routes? They cutting off your verticals there. Anything deep, they're trying to cut it off because they, they got four guys back there to try to protect it. Right hash, deep hook and curls. Left hash, deep hook and curls. Troll mill. Easy peasy, right? So what are we going to do to prevent this? Well, we can either be bold and attack deep anyway, because there are ways to attack deep. You know, if, you, if this cornerback is going to end up deep, if you have enough blocking, you can always, you know, run your curls there. You can always do that. You could always do something to the outside there. Just let it develop a little bit. Do something to the outside there, double moves, anything like that. Um, but, okay, and one more thing, we can run, like, screens, too, right? We can always go boom, 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 bam, 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 bam. This guy wouldn't be going, he'll be kick sliding against his end, chopping his end down something. And we can always run screens with the running back, right? Everybody's back here. So you got this fleet of blockers in front of you to, you know, lead block into the into the safeties, into the clutter, right? You always got that option. But what we try to do is just keep everything underneath. So when you watching these, you know, watching these football games, man, it's towards the end, it's a two minute drill and the other the other team is playing cover four, I promise you. This is the hey, we just gonna play back. You know, we're just going to patrol the sticks maybe a little bit after that. We're going to let you catch everything underneath, and we're going to rally to the football. But you've got to be able to rally to the football, right? So what we want to do is we can just throw everything underneath. We can do digs. We can do ends. We can do swings. We can do outs. We can do corners. Anything underneath these guys. Everybody's deep, right? You typically want it to be away from these linebackers here because this is the 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 two-minute drill defense right you don't want to give them nothing deep keep everything up under you so you can do anything in between these linebackers that you want to so you can basically go linebacker to sideline linebacker to sideline you can do any of those plays just keep it under the deep guys right that's easy that's cover four so with that being said Hope you learned something today. If you have any questions, football related that you may not um, that you may not understand, hey, why do they do this? Why do they do that? Let me know. I dropped the language of play calling. I hope I taught people a little. I, I hope I gave y'all an understanding a little bit more about how plays are called. Um, 
you know, and reading defense and all that type of stuff. I hope y'all hope y'all have a better understanding of, you know, all that type of stuff. Anyway, man, I am Vach Lombardi. I write like a 12th grader, pardon me. Hope y'all hold it down for the Doski Wilson and Peaski Whiskey, man. Be cool. Like, comment, subscribe. Hit me up on Facebook in my group, uh, Lombardi's Draft Talk. Lombardi's Draft Talk. Hit me up in there. I talk a lot of football with you. Hit me up on Twitter at Vach Lombardi at that's a horrible at sign, whatever. At Vach Lombardi on Twitter. And like, comment, subscribe, all that type of stuff. Yeah, and um, you know, suggest. suggest. <laughs> I'm just playing around with y'all. Suggest something, man. Suggest uh, my next film session or something like that, man. Um, if you're coming to this video and you're not familiar with my film sessions and you, you know, just coming to learn how to read coverages, yes, I do film too. So go check out my other videos, man. Y'all hold it down for the dose, squawks, and the piece of whiskey. Go!